great Wednesday morning, midweek. To God be the glory. We're in a brand new book. Zephaniah, he was around during the time of King Josiah of Judah. And he pretty much was telling the people to be silent before the Lord. Hold thy peace at the presence of the Lord thy God. Have we held our peace this morning to just listen to the utterings and the unctionings of the Holy One? Or did we just get out of bed and just start doing our own thing and our to-do list to check off? No, he wants us to be still before him and get instructions. And the Lord is not mock. He is not to be mocked and he is not slack concerning his word and his promises. It says in verse 12 that the second part, it says that the men will be punished that are settled on their leads. What does that mean? Just like you have a bottle of a drink, it could be wine, it could be um, any liquid. Well, you know how at the bottom, the sediments or the dregs or the leftovers are stuck to the bottom of the bottle or the glass and it doesn't move. Well, the Lord is saying, mm -mm, I am not dormant. I am not slack. Whatsoever you sow, you shall reap. So we're asking the Lord for mercy because it says in the other part that in their heart, the Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. That's what people are thinking. But we're going to have to give an account. I know that's old school and people don't talk like that nowadays, but we have to make sure that we are mindful that God is holy and he wants us to be holy. And even though we're busy and it seems like, you know, the olive tree might be felling our labors, you know, as far as we're doing this and that, God says that he will make us like a green olive tree in the house of God. We're trusting in the mercy of God forever and ever. So even though the, the, the tree might not blossom, and your labors may seem like they are failing and there's no yield in the field for meat and it seems like that your flock is cut off and there is no herd in the stall yet you will rejoice in the lord you will joy in the god of your salvation and the lord is your strength have a wonderful day and be mindful